Hello, I'm here at the Colosseum, which technically is known as the Flavian Amphitheater and was built during the reign of the three Flavian emperors, Vespasian, Titus, and Domitian. Um, today it's probably most famously known as the place where gladiatorial combat took place throughout much of the Roman Empire. Uh, what you may not know is that gladiatorial combat originally began not as a form of entertainment, but as a form of religious worship. In the Etruscan people who lived to the north of Rome, uh, the gladiators were a common feature at funeral games for the wealthy and elite. Uh, it was believed that the souls of the dead required the blood of the living to survive in the afterlife. And as a result, when a wealthy or important person died, uh, they would have gladiators, slaves who were trained to fight, who would fight and, uh, and die uh, in the honor of that person's death. Now, Today, if you look at the Colosseum, you'll see that it uh, looks kind of odd because the floor has fallen off. Uh, originally, this underground basement area wasn't part of the Colosseum. It was built after the, uh, the, the initial construction. Uh, when it was first built, the floor was solid and they actually flooded the Colosseum for naval games uh, in the early days of its existence. But then they later excavated the basement, which was used as a place to store animals and gladiators uh, leading up to the time when they would fight and eventually die. And? Yeah. One of the central points of this class is that you can learn so much about an ancient society by looking at its literature and its art and all the different sources that it leaves us. Today, I think we should look at the Colosseum as one of those sources that we use to interpret the meaning and nature of one of these past civilizations. Now, I am a big fan of the ancient Romans. Uh, in fact, I think they're probably the, my favorite culture that we study this semester. But if we treat the Colosseum as a source for the study of the past, we're left with some important questions. While today, the Colosseum may seem to be um, a big empty ruin filled with lots of tourists. Back in 70, 80 AD, this was a facility that was given over to death, right? to a form of sport and entertainment, uh, which is almost hard to imagine today. And so I guess one question I want to leave you with as we leave the Colosseum today is to imagine what it means about the nature of Roman civilization that for them the largest amphitheater, the largest entertainment facility they built in Rome was designed not for theater, not for art, but for death.